A peculiar thing about a mixture is that the components do not lose their individual properties. Though they stay together, it is something like India. We all Indians who speak different languages, who have different culture, but still they stay together. But still they also retain their individual culture. So a mixture is something like that. If required, we can easily separate them through their language, through their habits, behavior and certain rituals, we can easily separate them. Similarly, in a case of mixture, the components can be separated by their physical properties and by simple physical processes like boiling, hand picking, sieving and so on. If the components are small in size or different in size, then we can do sieving. Like say if wheat and rice are mixed, we can sieve. The bigger particles will remain on the sieve, smaller will pass through. Or And same is the process in case of filtration. If the color is different, shape is different, then we can hand pick and so on. So by choosing a physical property difference, we can separate mixtures. So mixtures can be separated by physical processes. And what is the basis of those physical pro processes? Differences in the physical properties. That could be difference in their weight, in their size, shape, color, melting point, boiling point and so on. Now the simplest method you can say is in the case of how we prepare salt. You remember Gandhiji went for Dandi March because we wanted to make our salt ourselves from sea water and Britishers were imposing on us that we import it. So what did Gandhi do? They, he took some sea water and allowed it to evaporate and what was left was salt. So one simple method of evaporation can help us separate a solute from its solvent solution or a solid from a liquid. So you can take in a watch glass salt solution. When you will heat it, then water will evaporate and what will be left is just salt. So near the sea there are alleys or the pits when high tide comes sea water gets collected, over a period of time water evaporates and salt is left behind which is collected but it is not pure form of salt. Now if we want pure form of salt we have to do something else. So then the next thing that can be done is we can do filtration. By filtration we dissolve that salt in water, filter it so the dust particles and other things remain on the filter paper and then we get pure salt solution which is then evaporated and we get pure salt.